Canva is a brilliant piece of software which allows you to make amazing posters online. It's available as an iPad app too. So I'm just going to show you the website. So type in Canva into Google and you need to register the first time you use it just with an email and a password. Um, and then you'll get to this screen. If you have used it before, um, your things that you've created already will be here. Um, and then you've got some designs just to start you off. So if I just um, choose maybe this one, a blog graphic, it'll open a new window for you. And this is your basically your template that you can use. And it really is easy to use. Use a template, don't start from scratch because you can just delete what's on there. So I'm just going to go down and can do all sorts of things, party invitations, um, a cooking recipe, a simple poster. So if I just choose this one, I want to keep it nice and simple for this tutorial. And then you've got your basic design. So if we have a look at just down here, you've got elements, text, background and uploads as well. So first of all, I'm just going to have a look at the elements. So what you can do, each bit is a different part. So you've got text here, you've got your background, and you've got a, um, like a border if you want as well. Um, if you want to add extra photos, just go to free photos. Um, you can choose um, quite a lot that are free, and you can search. They've got a million images, um, some you have to pay one dollar for. And you've got your grids, so if you want to change the layout, just have a look at that, and decide um, where you want your pictures to go. You can choose different frames to um, pop in. If you want to put in nice shapes in, I mean there's arrows, all sorts. And the really nice thing is, all you have to do is drag it across. And then you put your shape in there. Click on the shape, and you can see you can resize it. Logo in the corner there, you can rotate it around. Change the color really easily. Just a nice white one to match the theme. You can copy, and there's even more options there. Delete it, um, put in a link, or make it transparent. So that's your shapes. So let's just go back to elements. Put some lines in. Um, illustrations, um, some icons, make an infographic maybe, and some charts, and then some um, I Love Canva kind of just logos. Next, if you want to put some text in, you've got some basic text here, or you've got some nice designs. So, again, if you're happy with a simple circle, drag it in. Click on it. Let's put my name. And you can just see how easy it is to use. Yeah, I'm going to stick with those colours. The background. If you don't like the background you've got already, um, you've got quite a few free ones to choose from. You can go for more of a plain one. So, oh. Okay, so I've got to delete that piece of wood. There we go. And then the final thing I want to show you is the uploads. Now this is the most um, useful part. So these are the pictures I've already uploaded. If you want to um, find something, maybe I'm doing a poster about, um, let's do it cakes. Maybe not for your wedding, so just click and delete that one. Eight cakes. Very random. So I'm just going to find pictures of cakes. So I encourage your students to use the Google image search to find some nice pictures of cakes. I like that one, that will match my theme. View the image. And then you can't actually copy and paste, which is a bit annoying. But if you save the image as Save it onto your desktop and then go back in to Canva 
and then just upload the images. So you might want to do all the images at the same time to save you um, going in and out of the programs. There it is. Open it, and it will upload. You've got to wait till this water effect finishes before you can drag it over. Just while we're waiting, I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. And then it's ready. So drag it to where you want it. And we'll decrease the size there. Okay, so that's the main things to show you. Just a few more things. You've got the file menu here. You can resize kind of the start graphic. You can save. You can make yourself a copy. The undo button is really useful and redo, of course. Um, and the last thing, once you're happy with this, you need to go to download. And you can choose um, a smaller graphic, a high quality graphic, or a PDF. So I just use the high quality. This is, if you've chosen um, images where you've had to pay money for them, this is where you have to pay. So I'd recommend just sticking with free stuff for going to Google. So give it a file name, let's call it test. I'm just going to save that onto my desktop. And it just downloads it as a nice, simple image. And you can share it on Facebook. Um, you can tweet it or you can send an email as well. And that's Canva, really nice simple tool, um, brilliant for use in the classroom. Thank you.